Mr. Su Teng Chen is a graduate student researcher focusing on the transformation of artificial intelligence for clinical practices by applying deep learning algorithms in intelligent diagnosis and prognosis prediction of patients with malignant tumors. He completed a bachelor's degree in medicine at the Southern Medical University, as well as a master's degree in surgery at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. And Mr. Chen is currently pursuing his doctoral degree in surgery at Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Today, he will be sharing his work proposing novel neural networks for the training and optimization of practical models, which have been verified to perform well in automatic and quick identification of malignant lesions. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Mr. Chen. Thank you very much. I'm so glad to have the opportunity to take part in the summit. My research interests focus on the transformation of artificial intelligence for clinical practice. So the topic I want to share today is clinical use of deep learning strategy in renal cell carcinoma. Renal cell carcinoma is one of the most aggressive cancer. It represents about 2% to 3% of all cancers. It is also the most common solid lessons within the kidney. As a heterotorous disease, there are three main types of RCC, and about 70% uh, of this kind of cancer can be categorized as Kaliasa uh, renal cell carcinoma, which is also called CCRCC, and the primary type accounts for about 15%, and about 5% of RCC is phenomenal type. In clinical practice, we find that CCRCC accounts for most metastatic cases and deaths of patients with renal cancer, uh, renal tumor. Uh, the accurate diagnosis of CCRCC and if infectious distinguishing for other subtypes is very important. However, there are still challenges in uh, there are still difficulties in, in diagnosis of RCC. The obvious symptoms always lead to the uh, delay of hospital presentation and about the progressions of the CT examination, the traditional imaging diagnosis model of renal cancer must be difficult to miss the increased in number of cases within for diagnosis. So traditional diagnosis by naked eyes of experienced philosophies, they were stable snacive and the time consuming. As we can see in 2019, uh, David and his colleagues reported that uh, the philosophies uh, workforce from 2007 and 2017 in the United States. And we can see in the left figure, the number of physicians have increased year by year, which might reflect the increased number of patients. But as we can see, between the same period, the number of active philosophists in the United States decreased by about 18%. That, uh, this might suggest a shortage of philosophists in the United States. While in China, the shortage of philosophies is also obvious. So we are, tr uh, we are trying to do something to help to relieve this shortage. Artificial intelligence is the theory and the development of computer science, which is able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence. Uh, it is attracts attention in medical image analysis and uh, molecular drug visualization. And in the whole healthcare species, AI has proposed to play more and more major roles across the spectrum of application domains, including the diagnosis, the diabetes, the population health mediation, administration, and the regulation. So AI have also been proven used in CCRCC, which have focused on the diagnosis, the molecular subtyping, and the survival prediction. However, the limitations of current studies could still be found. For example, some studies are uh, mainly focused on machine learning algorithm, which might suffer from poor uh, robustness and without biological intelligibility. Uh, for whole slide imaging of physical expressions, uh, virtual information is under, uh, under mutual for clinical use. Sample differentiation of RCC is far from enough to be applied in clinical practice. So during the past five few years, uh, we have control, uh, constructs on the use of artificial intelligence in clinical practice. We propose novel, uh, we propose novel neural networks for the training and optimization of practical models. We propose an attention-based wiki supervised uh, learning strategy. As shown in the figure, our qualification producer could be clarified into two parts. Uh, patch level feature injections and based on step supervision learning and uh, WSI level feature uh, algorithm based on a deep attention machinism. 
uh, without the requirement of manual automation. Uh, this work has covered five, um, four classification tasks, including um, CCRC subtyping, mutation prediction, nuclear grading, and uh, progressive prediction, which are progressed in five branches with the preference cost anti obstructions. Firstly, uh, the subtyping results were shown in the here. High accuracy of the subtyping symptom was in identified in patients' codes with LC value of uh, from uh, 97% to 99%, which is capable to an experienced fellowship. Uh, we also provide interpretability and uh, visualization of the subtyping task. And we can see uh, the case uh, types seems to have more, a lot more clear filaments, while the other type of RTC has more filaments calls with by the uh, by the nuclear cells. Uh, next, we also apply deep learning studies to nuclear grading for CCRCC. Generally speaking, tumors with high nuclear grading might be uh, might be with higher levels of malignancies. Um, but this task is currently performed by experienced virologists. But now our AI-based system can help to facilitate this task. Immune check inhibitor targeting the PROCAN, the PD1, uh, can improve survival of patients with uh, lung cancer. Um, as a current study reported that patients with uh, loose function of BBI1 mutation was associated with higher survival rates. So these patients might benefit more from uh, this kind of anti-PD1 theory. So the, uh, the prediction of mutant status of PBI1 seems to make sense before the theory. So based, uh, based, uh, based, uh, uh, so based on our uh, deep learning studies, we trained a mutation prediction model for the mutation in renal cancer. And this task is uh, difficult because mutation of genes is unlikely to change the phenomena of a uh, um, physiological image. So um, the AI-based network might not find enough useful image features to make an accurate prediction. And finally, the AOC value arrived at about 83% in the training codes and 82% uh, uh, in the test codes. So this part, of, uh, this part of task will be deeply investigated in our future work. Uh, and finally, uh, we developed and uh, verified a survival prediction model based on the uh, physiological images. Patients with favorable or worse clinical outcomes can be distinguished from each other. Uh, KM survival analysis reveals that our uh, deep learning strategy can help to find patients with high survival risk, um, which might need more follow up experiment. So with a slight image input, our deep learning studies can automatically accomplish uh, tumor segmentation, uh, tumor subtyping, nuclear grading, mutation prediction, and the survival prediction, which can be presented as an AI-based philosophical report. Uh, currently, we hope that our system can help the, uh, the doctor to finish their daily work uh, more efficiently uh, since the system can provide useful hints in the slide images. No, okay, that's my report, and thank you very much. Right. Thank you very much, Sutin, for sharing the findings of your research. And we have some questions coming in from the audience for you. So first question, um, the audience is interested to hear you share a bit more details about how your deep learning model was developed. For example, um, you know, the size of your training data and your testing data. And yes, we would like, we would like to hear you share a bit more details about how that was done. OK, thank you very much. Um, yes. Because the uh, present time is limited, so I just uh, primarily introduce my uh, training model. Actually, uh, our, uh, our prediction model was trained uh, from about 800% uh, from public database. And um, we um, prepared about four um, clinical tasks, to, uh, including the tumor subtyping, the grading, uh, the nuclear grading, the um, uh, static germ mutation, and su uh, survival prediction. And after we training the model and perfect it, uh, we uh, varied it in about 400 patients in our hospital. And uh, uh, our results revealed that um, the model could be mostly uh, verified in our um, patients. Right. I see. Okay. Thank you very much. 
for okay. that. Um, yeah, so the next question is, I think the audience is interested to know um, how your model's accuracy compares to traditional uh, machine learning models that I guess have been done in previous works. Uh, uh, intre- uh, that, that, that's a good question. Uh, actually, uh, we performed a machine learning model in our previous work, and the accuracy was about um, for for the subtyping of renal cancer. The accuracy was about eighty five percent in our in way uh, in our previous published papers, and now we are perf- uh, perform deep learning models in the same task. So and uh, we model uh, companies and about ninety-nine uh, percent accuracy in uh, the current work. So we uh, we conclude that uh, that our current model based on uh, deep learning might perform the better than our uh, than our previous published uh, machine learning based models. Thank right. you. <laughs> Great. I see. Okay. And can you share a little bit more about your um? Um, future plans moving forward in terms of you know um, perhaps bringing this model this that model that's, that you've developed into the clinic are there any roadmaps or plans for that to happen? Oh, thank you. That's a good question. Um, actually, uh, uh, firstly, we just uh, finished our primary study on this uh, sub on this subject, um, but it's really a um, hard work to. Uh, transform our current study to clinical practice. Uh, maybe we will um, we plan to uh, vary our plan in more uh, medical centers to actually um, uh, to actually uh, prevent the uh, uh, economic or uh, medical uh, benefits to the patient. Then maybe we can think about transforming our model to a more uh, commercial use or uh, to some um, public uh, public uh, hospitals to finish the uh, the pro- uh, production of traditional medical process. Uh, yeah, this is this is our uh, uh, our goals to uh, produce such studies. Great. So I think this might be the last question for you. So does the model take into account the effect of hypoxia in the tumor microenvironment? Mm, actually, uh, in, when we trained the model, uh, we have incurred a different kind of uh, renal cancer patients. Uh, so maybe some special uh, special cases or hard cases uh, have been included in our model uh, in the training process. Uh, so you, um, I think it will also uh, you can also perform well in uh, couple with some different kind of hard cases. Great, I see. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. thank, thank you, you very much for for taking the time to share your findings today, as well as answering our audience's question. And yes, I think that's all we have for today. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you very much.